There we go. Okay. Morning, good afternoon, good evening, everyone. Welcome to the stream. Welcome to the LDO V0 S1 build. So believe it or not, this is the first V0 based build I've done on the stream. I did a, a midweek um, kind of quick build very early on in YouTube for installing a, one of the mini displays on a V0, but I have not built a V0 on YouTube. So I'm excited. Um, Carlos, seven months already. Thanks for being a member. Charlie is here getting his beginning of stream pets and he, he on his own gets up here on the bench. I, I kid you not. He gets up here every Sunday. He doesn't do that every time I'm working here. <laughs> so he knows. <laughs> so I joke or not. Hi, Aaron. Hi, Andres. Hi, Ed. Scott. <clears throat> hey, Thomas. Hey, Nick Nick. Bernar. Hey, Gary. Hey, Derek. Let's see. I'm going to miss a lot of people, I'm sure. But I want to say hi to everybody. Barnyard. Hey, Christian. Hayes Tunigan. Bruno. Bigger Fish. R3D. Hi. Hi, Dirk. Hi, Malcolm. Hi, Squirrel Brain. Hey, Golden Jaguar. Welcome. Hey, Victor. Hey, Jose. So, this is going to be a fun build. Um, cool thing about this build that I haven't been able to do in a while is um, we have some giveaways. So, let me get that set up. <laughs> Charlie does know he'll get a lot of pets. Yep. So give me a moment. I'm going to have to take my attention away from chat for a moment and turn on and get the links for the for the giveaways. So I will be putting these giveaway. There's there's two things. So let me give you details. Let me get them set up and then I'll give you details. So let me um, get this one set up and put this in the description. Give me a moment. Oh, this is tiny. Give me a moment. Hi, Lucas. Hey, Gary, thanks for gifting the membership. And member for seven months, thank you. Okay, let me get this. Oops. Sorry for the I I'm, I'm, I can multitask a little bit, but when it requires concentration, making sure I get it right. Okay, there's one. And let me get the other one going. So turn that on and grab the link. Okay, let's see, where was I? Why did that? Well, let's see what this ends up looking like. Why are those? There we go. Okay, so link should be in the description. Charlie wants out. Link should be in the description. I'll pin a post here. Let me get this back where I was. And let me catch up on chat. So hi, Kelvin. Hi, Zombie Hedgehog. Hi, Colin. So right now, so the, the way the giveaway is going to work, it's going to be some parts. I'll, I'll explain the parts, but you must be present to win and you must provide your your display name, YouTube display name and your email. If you don't display supply your email, we won't be able to um, contact you or Jason won't be able to contact you. Um, you must be present to win, but I will hold the drawing at the three hour mark. 
because as you know, sometimes my streams run a little long and I don't want to um, have people hanging. So you know at the three hour mark, three hours from right now, from five minutes ago, we will do the drawings. So these are provided by LDO as the kit was. Um, and I will, let me post. So LDO V0S1 parts upgrades and two orbiter LDO orbiter kit giveaway links in the description. Okay, so let me pin that post and there we go. So holy moly, it's getting warm in here. Um, it shouldn't be. Hi, James. So we, um, let's go with, let's bring the, let's bring the kit over here. So it's still boxed up. I did open it and go through, make sure I knew what I was printing. This is, woohoo, Steve. <laughs> So let's see. So please only sign up one time. Um, we are going to give away a collection of the upgrade parts for a V0 S1, and I'll show those to you, and two um, Orbiter, LDO Orbiter kits. So that will be three, three winners, and we'll be doing that per stream. So we'll be doing that this stream and next week. And then for the final stream, I'm thinking this might go three weeks. That's that's my guess. Um, for the final stream, there will be a full V0.1 S1 kit, um, along with the two orbiters being given away. And this is op open worldwide. Um, so LDO is handling all of that. All I have to do is collect the names and, and do the drawing. <laughs> so I'm excited. I like giving stuff away. So, um, let's see, this is the kit as it comes. I am going to set the things that are in the giveaway in a pile so we can sh see all of that in one go. But the, the thing about, so let's, let's start over. Let's, let's go for, um, let's go for something here. Let me pull up a, a page. I want to little details about the kit. What makes this kit different, right? So LDO likes to do um, do some value added things for their. Um, let's see. There we go. So they try to do a value add for their kits, right? And. Let's just go with their their list of things so we can we can identify what's different about this kit. And sorry, I need to two screens just isn't enough. <laughs> hey, Arno. Um, OK, so the Voron Zero S1. So this is based on the V0.1 um, bomb. Now, I, I don't know what the very final V0.2 is going to look like. So all this may change, but from what I've seen, I wouldn't hesitate. I wouldn't have a problem with upgrading this to V0.2. There, there are, um, everything should be good. Um, so that's, that's the preliminary unofficial stance on V0.1. Let me let Charlie in. So, okay, so things, so this is basically a V0 with some upgrades, right? So um, there are a series of upgrades. A is a Pico Bilical. This is a Raspberry Pico SB or a um, RP2040 based um, um, additional controller. So this is a controller that handles all the tool head functions. And this is a custom board that LDO made, and we'll go over that 
in more detail, but it, it has a little tool head board with it and then an umbilical that runs from um, this, this board to the um, tool head. It, it simplifies the wiring quite a bit. I'm running one of these on one of my V-Zeros and it works fine. Um, the B is the tool head board that, that goes with the Pico Bilical. They call it a Pico Bilical because uh, it's based on the Raspberry Pi Pico. Uh, the Big Tree Tech Mini um, Pico, whatever they call it, SKR Pico controller. There are some post install square nuts in here and we'll go over how those work as well in the build. There's a genuine Highwind uh, MGN7 for the X-Rail. It comes with a, um, a custom heat sink uh, L uh, E3D Revo Voron. So this one's blue. So, hi John. Hi Phil. Hi Danny, hi Keith. Um, there is a 100 watt um, polyamide um, bed heater and the Kirigami um, community mod bed setup. Hey, Tuk Tukuya. So there is a little video here. So the this document, the link is in the description. That's one of the LDO links in the description. So, and there's a little video here. We might go over this, how to use those M3 slide in nuts. It's kind of funny because I did this in my very first uh, V0 build. I had some steel um, square nuts from Amazon that you grind a, you grind two of the sides down to a point and you can slide them into a 1515 post install. So it's neat to see these being made because they're kind of a pain to hold on to while you're grinding them down. So okay, let's go back here. So Pico Bilical PCB kit. This is a Oh, I got a few things here. That's a jumper. This is the PCB. It's got a bunch of extra headers of, uh, I think, NeoPixel, several NeoPixels, um, USB in from the Pi. It has power in and then power out. You actually power the Pi off of this. Um, so that's that piece. Why no hammerhead nuts? Because 1515s, that's the extrusions are too small for the mass produced um, hammerhead nuts. That's the main board, then there's a tool head board in there. Hi Delmar. Makes me want to order one of those little guys, very nice kit. So the Pico Bilical board does the USB back to the host MCU, yes. So it's just, I mean, just with Clipper, you can, you can, you can hang as many MCUs as you have USB ports. Um, so this is a um, custom heat sink Revo Voron with some um, custom connectors on it so you don't have to crimp anything. And it looks like it comes with a 0.6 nozzle as well. That's all in there. This is not part of the giveaway. Uh, build plate. This is a CAN board. It is not a CAN board. So this is the um, larger build plate. There's other parts in here along with it, but this is a polymide heater. It has a little um, protective plate on it, but you can see the, the heating element there. It is 100 watts. There is a different power supply that goes along with this. Just gonna put that all in there like that. This is included in the parts for the giveaway. So I'm gonna set that right there. Other parts to the build. I'm gonna kind of spread myself out here. Um, electronics. So this, by default, the kit won't be coming with a pie, just like any of the, um, any of the, the, or any of the LDO kits. Um, but there is a Pi Zero 2W and a little custom setup here that I'll show you later. That it does have the SKR Pico controller, and all the other stuff in here. I don't know, I'm not clear on if the, the Pi will be um, 
optional. This is the larger, what is this? 200 watt power supply, which is currently set to 230 volts. So before I forget that, let's fix that. Oh, one of the most shocking things I've recently built a V0, just how tiny and cute the V0 beds are. They are tiny and very useful. I use mine all the time. Morning, MG. What's the reason behind going with a polyamide heater? Um, I think it's, in, they can make it, they, I mean, it's probably a, a, they can customize it more. They can, they can do it in house probably. Um, they can, I mean, it's a hundred watts now. So I, I, the hundred watt, I mean, the larger power supply will come with that heat bed in the, in the prize package. Let's open that in a second. What do we have here? Oh, tool head in motion. So this is just BMG stuff and belts. Well, let's, let's open this now. Hey, pushing plastic. I'm wondering if that Revo will be able to keep up with the V0 capable speed. So I, at reasonable speed, so my my V0.2 that I've built, um, I'm running around 300 millimeters per second in 12,000 excels with a Revo Voron, um, and it is doing just fine. Oh, what do we got here? I missed. Eclipse, thanks for gifting the memberships. Okay, so, um, in fact, many of the parts that I'm using in this build, uh, maybe not this build, the, the other parts I've printed on there that have turned out just fine. I printed most of these on my um, tap equipped Trident, actually. Okay, so linear, or linear rails and the little rail uh, nut strips but then it has the high one in here so this high wind is included in the in the giveaway not this high one probably one's out so give me a second go <laughs> Polyamide is much cheaper to produce silicone pads, more than 25% of the cost is the silicone. Okay. These are the um, stepper kits, the, the latest version of the steppers. I'm not gonna open that up yet. But we will be needing some of this here relatively soon. We got a space gray frame. So that we're gonna need right away. Set that there. And then we have fasteners and tools. So we'll need that quickly. Kirigami bed mount. Derek, thanks for gifting memberships. Let's see. On Form Next, E3D told me that their high flow Revo would be able to push up to 30 millimeters cube, though it might need a new heater core. Awesome. I'm, I'm looking forward to that. It's a very special giveaway planned for the people that gift memberships. <laughs> Can't separate that. <laughs> Still waiting for the Voron 0.2 release to rework my Dusty 0.1. Yeah, we will be going through with V0.2. I mean, there's there's probably quite a bit of V0 content coming up with this, this and the other things. This is the Karagami bed kit. It has a NeoPixel included. Um, and then this is a sheet aluminum bent bed. I like this mod. Um, you have to make sure that you get everything lined up right when installing it, and we'll do that. But I've been I've been a fan, so this is included in the drawing. A Kirigami bed setup is included in the drawing. Put that there, and then we've got cables and panels. So get all this out of here, and then I can get rid of this bigger box. So I'll set these down here. Ditch the box. Give it to Charlie. <laughs> PF Dennis, thanks for gifting the memberships. 
Steve, do I have to be present for the draw? Yes, you need to be present for the draw, but it is in two hours and 40 minutes from now. I draw at the three hour mark because that's my typical, what I like to stream for. So you don't have to be wondering near the end, when, when, when is he gonna be done so he can do the drawing? No, I, I set a time. We do it at the three hour mark, but you must be here. Hey Yannick from Germany. Let's see, is there a European seller of the S1 upgrade kit? So if you go to, let's go to the LDO, docs.ldomotors.com. If you go here and go to Voron, there is a distributor, distributor list. Here, I'll put this in here so you can follow along. No lunch breaks like last time, no. <laughs> hey Cameron, welcome. Hey BBs. Let's see, oh, what else? Tormidian, thanks for becoming a member. Where's Charlie? Charlie got his pets and now he's wandering. He's doing his thing. He's either eating or sleeping or using his litter box. <laughs> Those are the three things. Those are the three things Charlie does. <laughs> Mike, thanks for becoming a member. So this this document, there's distrib distributors, but there's also a lot of information we're gonna we're gonna get from this from this page. If we go to the V zero kit, there are um, Kirigami um, documentation. There's some um, Pico Bilical documentation, and there's a printed parts guide for and there's a wiring guide. So the printed parts guide are what things you want to print or what you don't want to print from the normal V0 um, files. So there, there is a list here and I've already gone through this. So nice, we're over 300 viewers, awesome. And we absolutely destroyed my 6,000 subscriber goal. I, I honestly, when I, when I brought that up a few streams ago, trends would have put me right about now, but you guys destroyed that. Um, the main V0 GitHub is here. These are where you're gonna get most of the files for a V0, so let me put that link here. Hey, West 3D, welcome. I really enjoyed your Meet the Maker with Whopping Potchard. Um, John is an, at one of my favorite uh, members of the team. Uh, he's so easy to to talk to and get along with. I've met him in person at, at Murph. Um, I've actually been there to his, to his place. Um, that was that was a great um, great interview there. I, I enjoyed that. So, in H three D, thank you. Super excited about this build. Thanks. Awesome. Um. Anyway, this is the GitHub for the V zero stuff. Um, the manual here. Um, that that's actually my. One of my V zeros is the picture, um, but some information, general information about the about the the Voron zero, and let me paste that just so folks can follow along. Colin, thank you for the gifted memberships and Maker Viking. Hello, so paste that. I started watching where the kid want, wanted his shows. <laughs> Um, two, 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 two. Hey, Chris. Hey, Nathan. Hey, Bill. I don't know if I said hi before or not. Hey, Ismail. Okay, where were we? So, printed guide. We're kind of going through all the things we need to, to do this build. So, now there is a, like I said, specific, there's a wiring guide specific to the, the S1 revision that takes into account some of the changes um, and the particular bomb that LDO provides. And then the other thing, so Pico Bilical has its own. There's like flashing guides and stuff like that here. We'll go through all of that on stream, so. Hey Darius from Poland. Hi Matt. 
Not sure about the Kirigami bed, really happy with the original Voron bed, not seeing the advantage really. The, to me, the, the Kirigami bed is a, a significant upgrade. It doesn't seem to shift. I haven't had to do the three point, the screw adjust on my, the, the V0 that I have a Kirigami bed on um, in dozens of prints. So um, I'm, I'm, I'm a fan. That's a that's a community a community item a community mod that came out. Um, LDO has has decided to include it in this kit here. But what's 3D? Thanks for becoming a member. PSA: Get a flu shot. This year's variant is a bear. Yeah. Okay. Hey Juan Carlos. Let's start with the manual. So I'm going to follow the general idea of the manual, um, probably fairly close. It's been a good while since I've built a V0 from scratch, but this will be my fifth V0 build, not including rebuilds. So. So this is the assembly manual. What's your D? Thanks for gifting memberships. I'm looking forward to converting my visa over to Kirigami bed now. Yeah, I, I have bought Kirigami beds for, and I've bought them for the rest of my uh, V zeros that don't have them. So that's that's how much I like that mod. So, um, in fact, I just got one from I got one from Fabrico and I got one from West 3D. <laughs> the dark ass fight, ten dollars. Thank you. Um, let's see. So here is the manual and all the normal Voron stuff. Scott, it's been 117 print hours since I last leveled the stock V0 bed mount. Yeah, so if you're careful with the stock, it is a good setup. It is it is fine. I um, have uh, I just feel like the Kirigami is an upgrade. It doesn't mean that the stock one doesn't work, right? So it's not a, a must have but I think it's nice. Let's put it that way. So I have four. I have three V zeros right now. I built the fourth one for um, for actually for Kevin at Clipper. Um, we built one for him and sent it off and I was the one that assembled that. So this will be my fourth that I will be keeping. What are the advantage of the Kirigami bed? It's it's sheet metal. It's it's um, it's just stiffer, more stable. Not as it doesn't seem to be as easy to knock out of place when you're pulling the bed on and off the the magnetic sheet. So okay, let me um, let Charlie in because we're gonna play this game. Okay, going through the manual, all the normal manual stuff, the fasteners, and the introduction to how blind joints work. And tools, and then the extrusion guide. So let's get the extrusions sorted. I am, I am, I have suddenly found myself with a, a whole collection of space gray <laughs> Vorons. Um, I have, I'll have a 250 Trident, I'll have this, and I'll have a Micron. Um, the 300 Trident is also space gray, but that one's going back to LDO. So I'm just going to pull these apart. I'm printing Rook parts now. That's that mostly printed um, little Core XY printer, right? Hey, Joel. Hey, Jared. Welcome. Do you bother with washers on the blind joints on the smaller builds? Um, no, I think I did on my first one. 
but no, I won't be bothering with that. Hey, Lester. Thank you. Thanks for all you and Charlie do for the community. Awesome. Thank you. Alex, thanks for the gift and membership. This is gray. Well, this is called, they call it space gray. I mean, it is anodized aluminum. It ends up looking pretty silver, right? For the tap mods, any good source for the N52? I've just bought several packs of magnets on Amazon. If you really want good magnets, I don't remember the guy's name, but he was at Earth and he is super excited about magnets and he has a huge selection, but I don't remember. Maybe someone else will know who that was. What will be the color scheme of this build? Oh yeah, we can go over the printed parts before I really dive into it. So if you see the, the thumbnail for the stream, that is the um, that is the color scheme. Oh, these are the. I guess I, I'm just gonna do this too. So, Kirigami bed, Iwin X rail, the power supply build plate, and the Pico bilical. This is all in the giveaway. So, link in the description. Giving away must provide your YouTube display name and email address. Worldwide shipping must be present to win, but we're drawing in two and a half hours. <laughs> the Magnet Baron, there we go. Yes. What's the build volume of one of these? About 120 millimeter cubed. Mr. Robot. Hey, Sanity. Hey, Steve. Did you see the new grade 55s? No. Oh, Fabrico has N52 magnets? Okay. Okay, so that is the things. Put this over here. Gonna need that. Printed parts. Hey, don't knock it. This is what I am printing it on, or printing, or building with. So this is um, Sparta 3D's Sparkle Purple Mist. Now, a couple of streams ago, I printed, or the tap stream, I printed this um, hex parts tray in purple, and someone made a comment that, is this a hint to the next build? At the time, it wasn't. And, and really, I didn't realize that this would happen until it came down to picking the parts and having basically a decision on the color for this build. So that's kind of funny, but it wasn't it wasn't planned when I printed this. <laughs> hey, lol. So. So the, the, this is, um, like I said, Sparta 3D Sparkle Purple Mist. And then I did the little a little mo uh, 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 an object inside there and then did a filament swap to get the the logo color and then the the black is Sparta 3D's obsidian black so Steve is it possible to use pet G for Voron 0 0.1 what do you I, I am not a fan of pet G for printer parts um, I know Prusa does it. Their, their Mark III is not enclosed, so that's the slightly better idea. But in general, PETG will creep under pressure from, from fasteners. So, and that gets, just gets way worse when you start adding heat. And you don't need a lot of heat for it to become a problem. So, in general, I don't recommend it. So... I missed, did you say the price? I believe the price is the same as any of their other kits. So don't quote, I don't know exactly. I think about $600. They didn't raise the price for this, for this kit, I, I, I don't think. So these are all ABS plus. The Sparta 3D stuff is ABS plus. But I think everything is here. I, I went through everything last night and I had missed a couple of parts like the motor frame, so I printed those today. And then I printed a bunch of the little, um, the little uh, nut helper holders 
and stuff. So. <sighs> so ABS or ASA, I, I, they're either, either is, is fine. Where did Charlie end up? Oh, of course, he's doing his business. <sighs> Only ABS or ASA for enclosed printers. Um, depending on the part, polycarbonates, um, ni or not nylons, nylon will creep, but uh, PCs and PC blends as well. 340 watching. Wow, 340 people, awesome. The price will be the same for this week, but will go up in 2023 by around $40. Okay. Thanks, Cameron. Uh-oh. We got the we got the bots. I think I've got a few people here who can who can handle that, right? If we don't, I'll capture the catch them in a minute. Okay. Thanks, Jared. Appreciate that. Let's get a little little zoomed in here. Some of that should be included in the bomb is a printed parts checklist. Um, yeah, I think there's something online for that, but I'm not, I'm not sure. So we are going to go by this list here and just kind of generally organize the extrusions. Polycarbonate is a no for me. It's a reason my video is zero dot one is the naughty corner waiting. Polycarbonate will get brittle. Um, so that's why I said in certain parts, you might be able to get away with. Um, but temperature wise, it's definitely fine, but... Hey, Gamers World. Okay, so this is just a normal. I'm looking for the extrusion with the cross holes. So there's one. There's one there. That. And this is only only one direction. So this is this one has a cross hole on an end, so this is a different part. Here. That one's there. That one's there. This one has a uh, wrench access hole further down. It's there. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, this is the other one. So there's only two of these. Bunch of these. Oh, there's four of these. That's right. Sorry. That's my bad. And that one goes there. Okay. So these are the front vertical. Oh, that's, hopefully that wasn't too loud. These are the sides. You got these all organized. Oh, and I'm probably going to want to push all of this all the way to the back so I have a flat surface here for the... Let's go right there. Okay, flat surface here for making sure all the extrusions are... <gasps> Square! Extrusion references. Um, oh yeah. So this is a uh, this is a, for a moment there. I had a, a, a brain. Uh, the wires cross, and I was wondering where's the bed extrusions. But they did actually put a do a custom um, frame kit for this. It doesn't have the bed extrusions because you don't need them. One of the nun holes. Won't ones is tapped. Um, I believe the LDO taps all of these um, because there's no reason not to. So they are all tapped on the ends. Yeah, so they've minimized the unique extrusions because for the X-Rail, you don't need it to be tapped on the end, but it doesn't hurt for it to be. So it's easier for them to just tap it instead of having a different process for one extrusion. What is S1? Cameron, do you know what S1 stands for? Because I actually don't. <laughs> Mark each one with a Sharpie, comes right off with IPA. That's okay, I can see them. Let's start the frame assembly. 
and they start by attaching a cable chain end link to the bed, but we'll we'll skip that and we'll do that here in a bit. Um, on a normal V0 build, you print these nut carriers and put M2 nuts in there. The LDO kits have all come with, um, have all come with, we're gonna need them anyway, these nut bars. Series one? Okay. These nut bars that slide into the extrusions and work for that. It's special. It's super. I think just special. Okay. LDO V0 special one. Thanks, Cameron. Okay, so we have that and then we are going to build the Y rails first. Okay. So the Y rails are E extrusions. And that's the one with the whole offset by 29.5. Jason, welcome. Thank you. Hello guys, S1 means special edition. Okay. For just in case we're gonna do more upgrades, put S1 or next will be S2. Okay. So this is special edition, just the first of the of the potential series. Thanks, Jason. I appreciate that. Okay, so we are going to prep. Um, I hope I have everything. I kind of missed refilling my my grease injector. So let's get the let's get the rails prepped. <laughs> you, you almost got me there, Kyle. My son has a baseball game today. Just finished the first game. Be able to get here for a short time. Awesome. But <laughs> you almost got me there. Okay, so we're going to prep all the rails real quick. And I am, although I'm not a huge fan of it, I think I am just going to use the inject the grease into the into one of the screw holes method so <laughs> okay i know i'm not gonna have enough grease in this um, syringe so i'm gonna have to treat you to um a little bit of dancing rcf and I am going to go grab my tube of EP2 so I can um, get this going. So give me a moment and, and enjoy, enjoy this. <laughs> okay. I um I don't I, I shouldn't ever run out of of this. But I am going to although it may get more and more difficult to fill the the syringes. That will be enough. We will see if it will be enough. Oh, hi, Charlie. Get this away from him. Wipe 
off. YouTube chat still doesn't like text plus emojis. I hate that. Hi, Christian from Brazil. <laughs> okay, let me throw that rag away. So the first thing is going to be taking a clean rag and just doing a wipe off of the of the rails. Just making sure there's no grime in the in the grooves. What grease injector do I use? It's just a I don't even know where I got this syringe. I think it was I think this was originally was medication for Charlie when we were when he had his um his bladder stone surgery is where that that came from, see? Oral use only. <laughs> hey John, welcome. Okay, so I'm gonna wipe these off. Do all of these, just kind of get in the groove, get any any bits. There's little little bits of um, of residue in there. Just using my fingernail and dodging Charlie. Uh oh, I lost the. Where'd that go? There it is. The little stop to make sure I don't lose the. The carriage. This will have purple printed parts. If you rewind about 15 minutes real quick, you'll see them. Little bits of Charlie fur. Okay, so now that those are kind of wiped off, then I'm gonna evaluate them. Is there any grit in them that would mean I'd wanna do a deeper cleaning, right? Will the S1 upgrade parts from the old Voron V0.1 be sold? I have checked the EU resellers and only find the full S1 kit for sale. I'm not sure, Cameron or Jason can probably answer that. Um, hey, Shlunky. These are all feeling okay. And I should probably open up the, the high wind and do the same. There are no rail stops on this, so. I'm going to be extra careful I may actually go grab some stops because I keep those. Upgrade parts will be sold separately around February. Oh, here comes Charlie. Okay, those are there. I got my parrot. Okay, let's see if these will work. I imagine they should. Nope. Up and then down. <laughs> there we go. Found some, these little red, red stoppers seem to work. I don't want to lose the, there we go. Okay, how does this feel? And it feels fine too. He is half parrot. Half monkey, apparently. Did you? Did everyone see last stream? If if you have, if you didn't watch last stream, and from the ver from minute one, watch about the first five minutes. Charlie was in rare form. Okay. So I am going to, like I said, I am going to use the method where you inject inject the um inject through one of the screw holes the grease yeah 
Charlie is is half parrot, half dog, half cat, half monkey. Stop the stream and play with the cat. Okay, so I'm just going to do this until we get a little bit of, there we go, a little bit of grease poking out the sides and then we'll just work that in. Hey, Nuno. It might have a port for grease, but I don't have any means of utilizing that port. So we are going to just wipe off the excess. And then what I don't like about this method is the grease that's left over in the the grease that's left over in the hole. So I'm going to try to remove that. There we go. The grease is EP2. I guess I can show you what I'm doing here. Just, just getting the grease out of that, that screw hole. Cause that, that bugs me. My dog who claims old age and lameness until food or you're trying to do something and need to concentrate. Yes. Yes. Charlie is exactly like that. Okay. So there's one. That's oh, right. There we go. They make smaller Q-tips. Well, this is what I have. This is what I have. So just push it through from the side. Wipe it off. And then twist a twist an end. You don't need to buy hypo needles. Search for blunt tip food syringe. Okay. Sorry about that, Daniel. I hope this can be some level of entertainment for you then. Okay, two done. Three to go. Now this is not the greatest. There we go. The greatest tip on this on on this for the for it works great for larger than MGN seven, but Glow in the Dark ABS for a build is over the top right. No, Glow in the Dark is fine. Ask Jared. You could rip the end off the Q-tip, might fit in the screw holes. Maybe. I'm just pushing through and then I'll use the, the, the twisted end. Oh, wrong one. There we go. There. I'm pushing this through until you see, you see it squeezing out. Till I see it squeeze out, then I know I've got some, some in there. Charlie is just making sure that I know he's here.
three done, one more. There we go. Didn't make a great seal on that one. Guys, I have to run. Our support camera will watch for a while. Thanks, Jason. Thanks for being here. Have baseball turn and the other one have classmates' birthday party. Have fun. Okay, all of those are greased. Let me wipe this off and set it back over here. And all this thrown away and make sure I didn't. It looks like I'm okay. What do we got? Jaws of Joey, thanks for becoming a member. Okay, and one more, just a little extra residue on these. See if we can see. Come on, focus. There we are. Just see high wind. Hi, Johnny Boy Tech. I'm doing well. Hi, Steve. I'm in the Channel Islands. Been watching for about six months. Great 3D building. Thank you, Andre. Okay. Back to the manual. <laughs> see you, John. And John Charmello, thanks for becoming a member. Okay, so Y rails. We are going to insert the nut holders and use M2 by six button heads. And we're gonna install that 38 millimeters from the end with the, the wrench access hole. So we are gonna grab, I didn't need so many Q-tips. So put those away. Bill Brothers, thanks for the gift and memberships. Anything special about the high wind rail that it's the odd one out? Yes, it's a little higher preload, and that's to be used for X. Uh, Brian Z Max is about 120 millimeters. I guess I'm not paying enough attention to Charlie. So let's take a little, little Charlie break. <laughs> he would just sit like this. If I just did this and just worked, he would he would lay here and be just fine. Okay, I need two of these. And then I need two of these. Hey, thanks, Sean. Exactly one day older than you. Awesome. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay. So if these are going to go, so just to satisfy my own thing, I want the LDO, the logo on these, even though it's never seen, to be upright. So that's going to go like that. And if that goes there, this is going to go like that. <laughs> Charlie does sleep, yes. Either either down at my feet or right on my back. The high wind is an MGN7. Do you work from home? I do not. 
I go into the office. I have the option to work somewhat from home, but I'm, I'm too distracted here. So I go into the office. It's a very short drive for me. You need to be one of the front facing baby couriers for Charlie so they can be happy while you work. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna set him on his pillow. Hey Carlos, you are gonna go onto your pillow and maybe we can turn on the cat cam, Charlie cam. <sighs> okay, thanks Lol, appreciate that. Looks like there's another one. All right, fasteners. Let's let's utilize our parts tray and get our fasteners out here and get going. Three hundred and fifty people. That's awesome. I flat out can't work from home effectively. Yeah, I, I get far too distracted. So. <laughs> So we have fasteners here. I'm gonna throw this away. These are the special slide in nuts. If we need those, we'll go, go to it. We have some shim washers. Just set some of these aside. So let's find the bag of, we're gonna need, what are they? M2 by M2 by sixes. M two by six button heads. The center pin just broke off your LDO heat set tool. That's that's a bummer. Uh, M two by six button heads. Okay, this is going to be one of the most frequently used fastener here. We'll put that there. We have M three by eight. I'm going to put these back here. Ooh, you notice? You notice this? I didn't know it was gonna come with these. Come on, there we go. You see the coating on those on those fasteners? This is that new uh, that new coating. What do they call it? I don't remember what they call it. But if we if we get this and this. There's the, the new nickel, is it a nickel plating? And then this is just black oxide and this is stainless steel. Keep, yeah, the intent is um, it doesn't corrode. Okay, M3 by 30s, throw those in there. these and three by 35s oh and then give me a moment oh. just a moment there we go Okay, is that much cheaper than just going stainless? Um, I don't know, but it has a better look in my opinion, especially, I mean, it, per whatever your color scheme is. Magnetic or is black oxide better? Yeah, they're magnetic. <laughs> Stainless steel is brittle and stainless steel will, yeah, gall. The galling problem with stainless steel is, is, is real. Hey, Pascal. Okay, what other ones are we gonna need a lot of? There's M3 by sixes and we will need, oh no, oh no. I made an error. I made an error. 
Okay, minor error, but I made an error. I printed all of the little nut holders. So all these little nut holders for square nuts. And it came with hex nuts. Now they used to come with both square and hex. And I didn't check. So I, um, I will need those. And I may, I don't know how many we're gonna need today. So I'll, I'll get a bunch of those printed for next stream. What do we got here? Ooh, PF Dennis is retired. I've got about 12 years to go. Too long to start counting. Just have to have fun now. And let's go heat sets for this last bin. And then we'll just grab from the rest of it. <laughs> What's a Voron? Oh, so that is a Voron mouse pad. And I believe, but I'm not sure, you may be able to get those from Fabrico. Okay, I'm gonna set all of these away. And I'm gonna set the other fasteners over here and I'll just grab them when I don't have them in my tray. Can you check your Discord DM real quick? I will. What's up, lol? That's, that's the only, that's the only, there's only one level there, lol. I can't do um, anything different than that. So, um, set one of the other V1, V0s going, they'll be done in a few minutes. The problem is the V0 that I'm all prepped to print on is my V0.2, which I unplugged and put in the other room to make room in here. much more difficult was it to use maker beam on the solid fork i have a bunch of maker beam and spare parts it's not that much more difficult there's a couple of parts considerations you have to have but it's not bad we're able to purchase them from fabrico okay yeah hybrid robotics five dollars thank you you haven't earned a new long you have earned a new long-term subscriber awesome appreciate that so I think hiding from channel will just will just hide. Um, basically, um, should get rid of the whole series of those bots. Lol. Let me know if that works or not. Okay, back to this. I need a 1.5 millimeter driver, and since we're talking about Fabrico, let me use the Fabrico driver. I think. Ah, are they 1.5s? That's 1.5. Okay, maybe I won't. What do what do we got going on here? These should be 1.5, but they are not. Hey, I have a one millimeter driver. Is that what they are? No, they're bigger than that. What's the next size? 1.3 millimeter. I think that's it. Okay, that was not expected. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm gonna have to ask Cameron. Do you know what's going on with that? That's an odd. That's an odd tool size. Is that a, a thing with these these fasteners? And they don't, the, the tool doesn't fit very well. Maybe I've got the wrong size. What should these actually be? Let's try something else. I have a couple other. Uh, let's see. Here we go. So I have a, 
a 50 thousandths driver, and that one seems to fit well. And this is an old RC driver I have from Intigy. That was unexpected. M2 button head is 1.3. Regular so socket heads are 1.5. Well, the 1.3 driver I have from Fabrico is a little tight in these. The This driver, this 50 thousandths one, seems to be working okay. Though. So we'll just get those just barely on there. Move the... A little bit of... A little bit of feedback there. I don't know if it's the, the fastener or the driver. I'd imagine it's the, the fastener. So what I what I should do then? Let's grab let's grab the tools this came with, and see how well the the driver that the this came with fits. That does not fit. So what else do we have here? So if, if you're there, Cameron, this does not come with a, a driver that will that will work with these fasteners. So that's that's a little bit of feedback. It is not in here. And there's nothing separate in here. So if you're there, otherwise, I'll, I'll make sure to pass that on to Jason later. You have the same set of drivers projects? Yeah. Hey, Steven. Okay. 38 millimeters is the is the key for this. So I'm gonna grab my calipers. Set this to 38 millimeters. Ah, I always have to have to make that attempt to hit it exact. Come on. Come on. Okay, we're going to go within within 0.01 is the goal. There we go, 37.99. <laughs> so this goes on the end, this goes here, and I need my little, little printed. There we go. This goes here and there. and tighten from the center out. Lock it in place. These are M2s, they do not take a lot of torque. Especially, I try to, but time is very limited right now because of school. I'm looking forward to build one next summer. Awesome. Everybody needs to hit that zero, zero millimeter goal. It's just on OCD everyone has. Yes. 37.99. For, for your sake, 
of watching this, I'll, I'll let it be 0.01 off. There. I have to run for a few, I'll be right back. See you all. How are we doing on the drawing? So we are giving away a whole set of S1 upgrades. Links are in the description. You need to sign up for both if you want both, because I, I decided to separate them to two different lists. So the orbiter list and the V0 parts list. And we're giving away two of the orbiters. So how are those doing? How many entries do we have? We've got a, we've got a great number of entries versus viewers right now. That's good. So link in the description. So be sure to check that out. One, one entry per person. Be nice. Okay, so those are there. And I think, nope, Charlie's still sleeping. Okay. <sighs> I recommend that if you live in high humidity zones, one day build. No, this is not a one day build. The expectation, I'm, I'm guessing three. I'm guessing three. Even if the last build is just print and chill, um, I, I think it's gonna go three. It, it could potentially go four. Um, I'm not rushing through this. We're taking our time. Okay, so we did 38 millimeters, 37.99. A good tip for getting your caliper to a specific number, get it close to the desired number and flick the movable jaw softly with your finger. That's what I was trying to do is grab this, this, this little wheel here and you can, you can push. Oops, what happened? I mean, I could loosen it just a hair and go against the, the friction. Oh, 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 there we go. <laughs> I, I'm not going to redo it, but I got it there. <laughs> oh, and yeah, the, the calipers are probably not. What is the accuracy on these? Anyway. <laughs> um, is the orbiter the same internals as the Galileo? They are not. This is the Orbiter V2, so it has a different, um, it has a different uh, drive gears. Hey Steve, thanks for dropping by the live stream with Walking Park Putchard. I had a good time. That was a great um, view. That, that was a good, good, a, a good stream. And I'm looking forward to the, the ones that you do coming up, Alan. Those, that was, um, that was a good interview. Be back in a bit, running family to the airport. Have fun. I do not see the link to enter. It's in the description. So are you, or does, is, do other people see the link? I mean, I've, I've got um, many entries, so I think the it's there. It's in the video description. And I had to do that. I couldn't pin it because I only have, I can't do two pins. I guess I could probably put them in the same message, but I didn't want to, I didn't want to confuse it. Um, and then we're going to put some, some of the ends on there. Links are good. Awesome. Okay. I used a, I, I installed the orbiter on the solid fork. If you remember, if anybody was watching that. Okay. I'm going to get two of those and two in in three by sixes or in three by eights? In three by sixes, it looks like. What are those? In three by eights, okay. Let's turn that off and set those aside. In three by eight. Link is up and working, awesome. Doesn't look like the link, it just looks like a link for it. Giveaway must be present to win. Yes. Don't don't get hungry. Don't do it again. 
<laughs> Although, I mean, you ended up with a, a V0, right? Okay, where is, let's go, let's go with this. How do I check my YouTube display name for the giveaway? Your YouTube display name is Bartosz Kazmierczak. And I, I, I very much apologize for butchering that. It's just whatever comes up in, in chat. And it's not, it's not as critical as your email. As long as I can, I can correlate your username with what you're saying in chat, that should be okay. Okay, so rail stops on there. I uh, just thinking the gap between the prongs on the caliper is 38 millimeters, but those are further back from the end. So the, the on these calipers, this distance from the, the flat surface here to this edge here is also the the measured distance. So that's what I was that's what I was doing is is that. And that's a good way to measure to um, something like this. <sighs> what do we got there, Christian? I'm disappointed in my bed. I'm dismantling my bed on my V0 to install the Kirigami, and I had used some thread locker on the rail mounting, but too much. That stuff eats up ABS. Yes, it does. Very little. You want very little um, thread locker on those. So that's those, and now we're gonna grab C extrusions, which have a hole on each end. That's these. So these can go over here. And these are for the Z. And those are 33 millimeters from the top. Okay, so that's these, and then we got a couple more of Can you cover how to properly tension the bed springs when you get there? Um, yeah, I don't know how how properly I do it, but it seems to work. So yeah, we'll cover that for sure. We'll probably have to have the first year three kids money is tight this time of year. Yeah, for sure. Many from the active chat already have a Voron. How many have a Voron? How many don't have a Voron? I know I know engagement would say, because most of you probably have an, a Voron, but how many don't have a Voron right now? I have an off-brand Trident. Is there a brand? Okay, two more Z-Rails. So we're gonna put these on here like this and like that. And then we just have the X-Rail, which we're gonna set aside because we might not even get to the X-Rail today. Does a chapstick type package thread locker attack ABS? I'm sure it does, but it's a lot easier to keep it from um, getting on the on the ABS. I do not have a Voron. I don't have one. Don't, for counting. I don't have a boron, I have two. <laughs> There's some way to do a poll. Oh yeah, I could do a poll. That's okay. The, the chat engagement is, is useful, right? Do they count a, do they count a poll response the same way as chat engagement where are we at oh almost 400 people holy moly i've been looking at v0 for a while 
these are always a great printer. It's a little more fiddly to install, but it really is truly my go-to when I just have to do a, a quick um, a quick part. It just heats up quickly and um, I have it tuned relatively fast. Trying to find that balance between speed and expected maintenance intervals, right? Hey, 3DP Mamch. <sighs> what do we got? Zero G design. Zero G design. Welcome. I have a V0.1, two cats and two kids. Okay. Any new info on boot for V0? No, none that I, not, nothing I've heard. Hold Ted. Oh. Okay, what do we got? We are going 33 millimeters from the end on this one. And then a the little rail stops. So. Woohoo. <laughs> 33 millimeters. Oops. Where'd that go? Okay. Right there. Giveaway is only for an upgrade, not a full zero. So today, today's stream and next week's stream are upgrades and orbiters the final stream of the series is a full zero v zero s1 kit so must be present to win but we will be drawing in an hour and a half would you consider doing a vi video on the regular maintenance routine you have for your printers? Uh, for the most part, my regular maintenance routine is go through it when something breaks. I don't, I don't have a yearly, I change the belts, um, but I'm also not using them like, like the PIF providers do or whatever, um, where they, they have, um, they're relying on them. Stephen Clark, thanks for becoming a member. Is LDO's 100 watt heater run at not 100%? I run it at 100%. It's it's fine to run that on 100 at 100%. When does the S1 kit release for pre-order? That would depend on the individual distributors. I have a V1.8 and a 2.4. I only need a V0 for quick prints. Yes. Hey, Zuko. How do I apply for the... The link's in the descriptions. Rehards. Can submit to both forms or only one. You can submit to both. If, you, if you're... You, so we're drawing two orbiter kits um and one of the thing but you can you can put your enter enter into both we'll just do two drawings on the orbiter and then one on the v0 s2 up or s1 upgrade parts and the links in the description okay so those and then Two 
two more of these. Where we are. Thanks, Pepalashi. 11 more, one of those broke down. <laughs> yeah, I do have I do have the advantage of having multiple printers when one breaks. What a glorious beards yours become. Have you um if you go back to the Voron lives and look at the watch the watch the um is this where I want to go on this? No, it's at the top. Okay. Go back to the Voron Lives and watch the the switch wire. I had a I had a beard down to about here. <laughs> worldwide, yes. The the giveaway is worldwide. You try switch wire with Duet 2 with two extruders, one hot end. I have not. Yeah. My fingers feel just slightly greasy from the rails. I'm going to wipe them off here in a second. Okay. How many printers do I have? Um, I think about 15. Prusa Mark III, Solid Fork, V2 Legacy, so that's four. Switchwire, Trident, V2, so that's seven. V2, Tridex, Switchwire, so that's 10. V0, 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 so that's 13. Voron Kit, 19, so that's 14. And then I'll have this V0, 15, Micron, 16. <laughs> Is LDO's 100 watt heater runner 100%? Do you get better chamber temp or just faster heat up time? Just faster heat up time. Um, I think chamber, per temperature and the mass of the bed is going to probably have more of an effect on your chamber temp. I do build printers more than I print with them. And that's been the history throughout my, my, my life. I've got things like RC cars that I, I built and barely run. Um, that kind of thing. <laughs> I like to build. Yeah, there is tribent, but I, I don't count that as mine because that's going back. Okay, where are we at? We have the instructions won't call it nuts that were inserted into previous steps. That's fine. Now we're onto the bed. So we did these are the Z rails, but now we're going to skip this bed part. The channel is called Steve Builds, not Steve uses the things he built. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Exactly. Although to a certain degree, I need a certain number of the things to work well for me in order to facilitate more building. Otherwise, it would be Steve runs. Steve needs to run more. I need to get back to running. OK, we have all the bed stuff that we can skip. And now we're back to, now we're gonna start. So so the whole trick with the Voron Zero, right, is pre-inserting nuts in the right spots, the right number of nuts in the right spots. That's, that's the key to, um, that's the key. I did, I did enter, but I don't think I'll win it even if I win it. Still waiting on the Polymaker filament. I want a Nero stream two months ago. Wow. Well, 
we we have a good Jason has a really good track record of following through on these. So it is the journey, not the destination. Great, thanks for coming a member and KB3D member for seven months. Thanks, Chris. Time to beat was set by Alex at Murph this year. I won't be trying to beat that time. My cat just tried to jump on my shoulder like Charlie does on yours. However, mine uses nails to climb up. Charlie, I, I Charlie lets me trim his claws. I, I trim them. I don't. He's not declawed. I just trim them, and he lets me do that. So it's usually not too bad. Nero is up to thirty-two printers. Yeah, but I don't have any any of those other printers. Is the, is the difference? I don't do reviews, right? Well, not the traditional reviews, not what not what the Ender clone folks want. All right, so we're going to follow this. Um, we're going to follow this and get that. So we are going to be putting two of these. Get all the little bits and pieces out of here. So two of these, and then we're going to what are those in three by sixes. And nuts. Wonder how well will these actually fit in here? No, it's not quite. Is that quite right? Will that fit? No, it's not quite right. I'll have to print out the proper. Um, I'll have to print out the proper little holders. Just asked my foreign switch wire serial today. Awesome. Now, Def. What's your opinion on the pins mod? I'm a fan in general um, of that, but I don't think it's actually has that big of an effect. Um, when I was doing Hypercube stuff, my big thing was doing pins mods for that. And um, I like designing for it or whatever, but I don't think, I, I don't have the pins mod on any of my printers. So let's put it that way. I think there's other areas that I've focused my my attention on than that. Do you ever consider building an annex machine? I always thought Crosswell Rail was really interesting. Uh, I would. I'm not a huge fan of unsupported MGN rails, so. But I that, I say that not knowing the details about their builds. Yves, thanks for being a member. For seven months, awesome. So the, I, I've said before, the, the, my channel ends up being mostly Voron builds, but it, it doesn't have to be. Let's just put it that way. Okay, oh, and then, and then in three by tens on the ends, which I don't think I pulled out of the, the bags. So I'm building a K3, awesome. Oh, that's the six. Golden Jaguar. Yes, I've, I've seen some of, um, I've watched some of Golden Jaguar's streams on his build. <laughs> okay. Now, what do I want to do here? 
I think I will do pre-assembly here in, in view and tighten things down here. The problem is my, um, maybe I'll tighten things down and do this. This white ends up messing with my color balance. Don't forget the preloaded nuts in the center. Um, in, oh, preload two, yep, thank you. Preload two in the bottom center. So that's here. Uh, I need some tweezers. One and two. Thank you. That's the what I was just saying. It's so critical to pay attention to the preloaded nuts. Kyle, that that I mean, that's a good point. I mean, the the regardless. I mean, the the design is cool. So. What's the difference from the to the S1? So the S1 just has a bunch of upgrades. If you look in the description, there's a page that says all the differences. What's my favorite brand of drivers? I bought the cheapest set of Hobby RC drivers on Amazon. While I like the style, they're already chipping. Um, I'm a big fan. I, I like I like the wares. I I use Team Associated older stuff. I don't know if their new stuff is any good. I like MIP. MIPs are really nice and I use them a lot. Um, these um, from Fabrico seem to be doing well. The, I don't know if the fastener or the driver was tight on the 1.3, but the two millimeter I'm using here seems to be working well. Since I was into RC, I use a lot of what I had. Mark, member for seven months. Thank you. Hey, Derek. Okay, so double checking the manual. See here, preload two and three nuts. The rest of them are good. And then we're going to start assembling these and preload some into the back. Okay. So we're going to go here. And I'm just going to... Lightly tighten these. Get some bond hoss. Why are those here? What I like for this is my little ball end driver. Ah, there we go. This one. There we go. <sighs> so I'm almost a real human today. I'm not dead yet. <laughs> 1.3 normally uses 1.27. Yeah, that's why I ended up using this 50 thousandths driver I have from my hobby days. Okay, we have some nuts to preload. So if we turn this over, we are going to put three in this side. I am, I am a little disappointed in the not including square nuts, because I am a fan of, uh, and three on this side, I am a fan of square nuts for these extrusion nuts. Did LDO logos match? Yes, I made sure of that. Okay, so those three, and then this is gonna go in here. And these can be all tightened, but not, I mean, loose. Oops. <laughs> there we go. <sighs> I need to make my own tools and not only feel the need, but actually work for what I want to do. Yes. I just recommend Bond House because they are made in the US. I have one Bond House driver, and that's the, the long boy. 
I think this is, yeah, Bond House. <laughs> Be wary of the Harbor Freight T-handle ball end drivers. Yeah, I, w I don't use those. No problem, Bruno. You're messing with the OCD. But LDO is, is, is readable. It's, it's readable in the same way. Oh, there we go. Okay. Isn't the point of the new roll-in nuts so they don't require preloading, or am I missing something? They they are, but they're more for, oops, I forgot that, that nut. Um, I don't believe there are enough included. I could be wrong, but I don't believe there are enough included to do the whole build. So I'm saving them for the, oops, I forgot something. They're, they're the, 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 the safety net. Okay, back to here. So we're, we preloaded those. And little note, if you do Bowden instead of direct feed, then you have to put a, um, an additional couple in one side. Love building my Voron, my wife and kitchen table, not so much. <laughs> they have roll-ins for 15-15, yes. They're, they're chamfered square nuts, basically, that allow them to drop in. They do not work on Maker Beam. So just a note, those chamfered, the these little, here, let's, let's go to a little more detail on here. If we can get this, these are shaped, the end of these are shaped such that they will drop in, in a certain, see, I just dropped that one in. No, remember, nope, yep, just drops right in. So um, there's a chamfer on one side of these that allows that to happen. But the shape of the extrusion is critical uh, maker beams don't have enough space for that to work. Golden Jaguar, <laughs> K3 build fun. <laughs> Thank you. Which is the smaller of them? That's the one I would prefer to build. If I ever built one, it would be the smaller of them. those and then I did that and then these other these extrusions that we're going to put on the side here are just to help with making sure everything lines up so we're going to take a couple of more extrusions here and make sure that we have oops we need the wrench access holes so wrench access holes and we are going to put these on and the only thing these are here for is temporary so that um it squ keeps everything square while we line up the Z rails. So I'm going to do this down here. So K3 would be the one, yeah. I am definitely a fan of designing sizes of printers around the most readily available um, build sheets, because that gives you options, right? Hey, John. Hey, Palfest. Okay, I want more room here, so I'm gonna take a moment to take this off so I can actually move around and not um, and not bump into it. So give me a moment to clear off my <laughs> Hey Tony, thanks for coming a member.
Great content. Thank Caps. Thanks, Caps. Okay. So I'm just going to set this down here. Make sure we I don't feel any anything stuck to my plate here. And now I can now I can grab my usual and move around. So let's make sure we're flush on all these sides. So now we have a nice square frame here that we can then reference for bolting this together. I had to update my payment method for some reason. This was a perfect time to do it. Perfect. <laughs> okay, so temporarily installed H extrusions build on a flat surface. This is up. And then these are the general measurements we're going for. So we're going for 58 millimeters from the end. Anyone ever make a hydraulic self-leveling bed mount system? Not that I know of. Okay, so 58 millimeters plus 15. So we're gonna go 73 millimeters from the end to make it easier to, to use the same method. Oops. Oh, what is going on? Uh oh, there is something. My calipers just died. There we go. 73. Dude, I spent like two hours doing this on the TPU V0 last night, getting everything perfect for Z. Probably the most frustrating part of building a V0. Oh. There we go. 73. <laughs> okay, so that's going to go there. And then this gets loosened up. That should be pretty. And then flush with the end. Oops, what happened? I lost. I lost the screw here. There we go. <laughs> okay, try that again. Square there. Square there. Flush with the end. Tight. And then on this end, make sure we're the same. What are, did I miss something? I'm back. What did I miss? You didn't miss anything. Hey, Thomas, thanks for gifting memberships. Do you plan on trying the unclicky tap on one of your machines? I do plan on trying it. I actually printed the parts in case I couldn't get a switch in time or the optical sensor in time when I did the tap stream. Sounds overly complex and likely not going to work. Hydraulic bed sounds sounds complex. Yep. <laughs> David, thank you. Charlie's nom nom fund. <laughs> awesome. Check Karuna. Thank you. Appreciate that. And I appreciate you knowing that I like to know what the um, what the currencies are. OK, let's see here. A little machina square. And that is right on. Measured from this end and that end, made it right on. It makes sense. Doom, thanks for becoming a member. So that is right on. And then it is some 54 millimeters in between these. So let's do this. Oh, let's just go ahead and do it this way. Oh, I had that. Fifty-four. 
Right there. No play. Watch with the end. And this is going to get tweaked anyway here in a bit. But getting things close. Speaking of tap, is there an alternate model for the optical sensor? I can't find the optical sensor anywhere here in the EU. Um, I know there are some sensors that work. I'm not sh I'm, I don't have off the top of my head which ones. Gerard, the link is in the description. There's a Google form that's the link for the giveaways. Okay, so those are pretty much approximately where they they need to go. Everything is flush on the ends. This one, I'm gonna tighten down a little more and then we're gonna move on in the manual. I do not see a link to the Discord in the description. What what Discord? I don't have a link to any Discords in a, in a description. Hey, Hux Potato. Okay, so all these dimensions are correct and this is, here, let's zoom in here. Adjust the position of the zeros to match the dimensions shown on the right. Ensure the extrusions are parallel. For best results, only measuring starting from the left extrusion is shown in the picture, which is what I did. So let's come back. And then we're going to put, now we can put the, the bottom rail stops in place. However, we will probably have to remove those if we have to adjust this. But we'll follow the directions. Got one. And two. Digikey has a lot of different optical sensors that could be used. Yeah, check the check the Voron Discord. Um, um, tap channel for for questions for for that. Okay, rail end stops installed. What is a link to your Discord server? I don't have a Discord server. I, I don't I don't maintain one. I don't have the bandwidth to do that. I just barely set up, started to put stuff on my own GitHub so it's easier to point people to the files that I that I modify and, and do on stream. So that's gonna grow, but right now the Enderwire stuff is out there. Okay. Okay, so let's switch over to the Kirigami bed documentation from LDO and see if they have some some info that we need here. Hey Steve, get to listen to you while I redo attic fans. Have fun. So there's installation during all those installation things are coming soon, but what we can do is start putting the um Heat sets in and and put the printed parts on. So I guess we'll just kind of kind of wing it. Charlie has time. You need to talk to him. <laughs> on a mobile device, you can't access the description. Are you sure? What do we have? We're an hour away from the drawing. Um, on a mobile device, you can't access the description. Let's see, will this work? 
Let's see something. Uh, that's kind of that's kind of ugly, but will it work? Are you able to click on those? Let's do this. Let's replace the pin message with that. Just in case. Does that work a little better? Okay. Ah. Kirigami stuff. Kirigami bed mount. This comes with heat sets and the bed and a bunch of fasteners. And these are the same nickel, whatever plated fasteners. And some wiring and electronics. Okay, so we have wiring, a connector, a NeoPixel board, and a little um, breakout board. TMK, thanks for the gifted memberships, and then a couple of Wegas. So we have printed parts to grab. Let's put this here. We have the nut block, the front piece, and the chain mount, and the Wago mount. So let's grab all of these and start putting heat sets in. I've got myself all tangled up in my tools over here, so let me fix that. Drop everything on the floor. I'm glad I don't have a, a Tim and DeWitt um, fund going. Put the live chat down. I had to go to my desktop to register. And what is that? Is that my... There we go. What's the point of this style bed mount? The, the major point of this style bed mount is um, just a little stiffer. It doesn't shift as much. Okay, so I think these should be heat sets everywhere. Have you seen the Beacon 3D bed mesh stuff? I have. Um, it looks really interesting, and I, I intend, I should be um, pre-ordering one because I want to try it out. I just haven't done that yet. Stamp steel or aluminum? They are aluminum. And they're available in different anodized colors. This is space gray to match the printer. temperature to heat sets and just get all these inserted. Hey Jason, welcome back. This bed mount is a lot lighter, I guess. Yeah, it is, but it's not. It doesn't have an impact on printing. <laughs> See ya, John. Cancel this. The links are still in the description, but it's also the pin post. We have over 400 people in here. Yeah, I like the gifted membership thing because you're right. It, it, it's not just to me. There's an advantage to, to viewers. I like it.
Okay. I'm just gonna put a bunch of heat sets in. Now, does that heat set go in there? Is that... I think I've got a little bit of bed, bed squish that's... Yeah, a little bit of, little bit of squish. Remember for six months, thank you. That space gray looks great. Still only 257 likes. We're doing good. All those super chats are good, but letting everyone have a membership sports community as a whole. Absolutely, I like it. to get really close to the screen to read the thing. Brian, thanks for gifting the memberships. What tool did you use to remove bed squish? I need that. So that's one of my, um, I got the, the suggestion for that tool from like Blondie Hacks and um, Clow42. This is a Noga, Noga, um, little uh, deburring kit I got off of Amazon. These are not cheap. If you watch them and pay attention, here's the part number. If you watch them and pay attention, they do go on sale. And I bought it when it was significantly cheaper than typical. I think I paid about $40 and usually they're like 60. LEDs for the front covers. Yep, it'll have an LED. Have I tried out Clipper's adaptive bed meshing? Not yet, but Kyle's been pushing me to do that and I need to. Okay, so that's done. And then this piece. Little center um, lead screw nut mount. This is a Kiragami exclusive part. And then there's a Couple of mounts here for this Wago. So not much. On, aside from printing the parts was pre pre prepped for this build I kind of wanted to go through the whole the whole process so heat sets and all and do any go in here no I think that's all of them okay <sighs> Tony set up a second monitor that only has the chat on it scaled to something like 300 percent so you can easily read the chat while working on the build that's not a bad idea one day. Maybe I'll put a monitor here in front of me. Now, because I like to look, I want to I want to have at least looking in the direction of the of the screen. So maybe I'll put my I could put my preview over here so I can make make um, make it larger on the screen. How does your underwire compared to the actual switch wire? Um, I like the underwire. It's printing well for what I've done on it. Um, 
but I wouldn't say it's better than the Switchwire. Is it never more sufficient for a V0 printing ABS or should I just add an air cleaner? This will live on my desk at work. That's tough. I don't use any of that stuff on any of my printers, but I'm also in a garage. You haven't tried the adaptive meshing and purging? I, I'm, I'm getting to it. Build a teleprompter for comments. Do a, do a Zach Friedman little thing. That would be cool. Okay, origami bed. This, let's see how this goes. Does this go here? I imagine that probably goes like that. Or does it go like this? Which way does this little mount go? It looks like it goes like this. It's probably an M3 by 6, which it comes with. That is how I really discovered me. Oh. Okay, so. Do you see a difference between the two because I'm considering converting my Ender 3? I would absolutely go for converting an Ender 3. I think that goes like that. Yeah. I couldn't easily change glasses, that's true. That is true. Text to speech, nope. <laughs> okay, cable chain, what box was that in? Not, oh yeah, build plate and parts. Cable chain here. The beacon is a dancing max. Introducing your mom and <laughs> Hey, Poity. How are you? Okay, there is some documentation here on which side to use for this. And this end is installed to the Kirigami. The, they say to install the flexible end to the Kirigami and the rigid, more rigid end to the printer. So let's go with their, their suggestion. So let's grab the end here, which is the flexible end and put it here on the Kirigami. Now this has to come off because you lose access to these screws once the, um, once the bed is in place, you can't reach them. So I'm gonna make sure these are installed nice and straight and Hello, Poitie's mom and dad, if you're there. New wire crimpers are outside playing. Awesome. So Poitie has um, puppies. A very cute puppy. Okay. Gabriel will release bomb when we start to ship production. So soon. And just make sure these are snug, but not too tight, and then we can move on. Do you have a build video archive? Can I, can I, you can only see. So um, YouTube changed, Riculous, YouTube changed the way they display videos. There are tabs there now. You have to go to the live tab. Go to the live tab and you'll see all my live streams. They separated the, those out to videos, shorts, and live. I don't know if I agree with that, but that's what they did. Okay, that, there's some of this stuff, making sure the space is there. So this little part here, I did not print because technically LDO is installing the skirts backwards. 
technically. Um, this little heat set here may make it easier and you don't forget to put a pre-install in the frame, but I like to install the skirts the correct way around. You'll see that later on in the build. Okay, so let's just throw some of these other bits and pieces in here. So here got me bed. Important part about this is making sure that these tabs are straight and in line with each other. And I'm going to use, this is only the second one of these I've installed. So I'm going to kind of test that with my square and see. So right now, this tab is a little further back than this tab. So when this bolts on, it's gonna tweak. So not sure quite. Let's just kind of tweak those a little bit. You don't wanna bend these too much. Because they're aluminum and you bend it too much and they'll break. But I'm, I'm kind of, I'm holding them up to the light. I, I'm sorry, that doesn't really help you guys. So those are close and we'll see how everything bolts up. So it's hard to see and it may look like they're off still, but they're really close. See? Use a crescent wrench close for tweaking. Yeah, these were really close. So I think just by hand, I was able to get them right there so we'll see how everything feels when we put it on the frame but for right now i'm going to leave those right like that and then bolt these in how young is too young to start someone on 3d printing my nephew turned nine this year i think nine is probably a great age I think my neighbor, neighbor's son was 10 or something when he got an Ender 3 I helped him with. Might have been 12. Yeah, super, of course, with supervision. So make sure these, these um, screws here do not need to be torqued. They just need to be snug. And then this guy is gonna go on here. Oh, I forgot a couple of heat sets to go in to hold the circuit board. Don't forget the end stop screw and let us know if it tights well. Mine got free play after some days. Oh, that's right, and I've got that back upside down too, in that case. That is upside down. I've been 3D printing since I could walk. <laughs> you were 3D printing before that. <laughs> or at least extruding. Time to leave for the cinema. Have fun. What are you going to see? I started at 57 years young. I started, what has it been, five and a half years ago? Yep, 
the menu. Okay, what size is that fastener that goes into the... Let's look at the manual. What size is the fastener that goes for the Z end stop? Let's skip down in the in the documentation below all the bed stuff. How far do we have to go to get to that? Is it an M3 by 12 or? So apologize for the scrolling. I'm looking for the Z end stop. Oh, we may have to go quite far. OK, well, we'll get to it later. I'm not going to keep scrolling. Have you seen the new mostly 3D printed Core XY? Yeah, the Rook or something. OK, let's go back back where we were um, here. And heat sets. Looks like the looks like the kit comes with one one spare heat set, which is good. This is going to hold the little NeoPixel board. Is there any advantage to a probe mob mod on the V0.1 for nozzle changes? Um, maybe, but I don't know how you do it. Are there probe mods out there? Anyone know of some Sparkle ABS in the EU? I don't. I have my first printer sitting in the corner, a Folger Tech i3. I've built a Folger Tech FT5. I built it for a friend. So I have some Folger Tech experience. I ended up using a longer screw for the end stop. I'm guessing it's going to be a 12. I don't know. We'll, we'll find out later in the instructions. Let's see how these things go. This is going to go on the end. And there are two. Do they come? Yep. And three nuts. Yeah, ants. It's ra it's been raining here, so um, oh, we got two bags of M3 nuts, M3 by six nuts. It's been raining here, so the ants have decided to come in. Do you prefer Sparkle or Sparta 3D or KVP ABS? I use both. I don't have a, a necessary preference. I haven't run into some of the problems that others have had on uh, with the uh, with the KVP stuff. So oops. M3 nuts go in there. Might as well take advantage of my Nipex pliers. And now this goes on here and gets bolted into place. You're messing with your FT5 right now? Yeah. That's an interesting, interesting build. It's a little dated now, I feel. Are quite dated. But it was cool at the time. Okay, that's going there. And then this PCB goes in here. But there's a little diffuser that goes in first that I printed. Let me grab one of those, and I just printed this out of clear pet G. So this is going to 
go in here. I can get it to in the right direction. Maybe I should have done that before. I don't know how if that goes in flush or if that's as far as it'll if it goes in just a little bit. I'm gonna take this off and do a better get a better angle at this. I'm bur burly beta model of Kirigami. I wonder if this will fit. I, I have no idea what the changes have been. Derek, five dollars for the electric screwdriver fund. Oh yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, well, let's look at this and let's do some trim, some mild trimming. Look at this and this. I do have some some boogers inside here, so let me just use the edge of a, a blade here to make sure this is clear. A little bit of um, bridging that needed to happen that may or may not be interfering. Let's do a little bit of trimming on this, just scraping with the side of the, the blade here. And let's see if we can get this in here. It is not a great fit. I don't know why. Try that way. That looks better. Um, what can I do to... Can I give me something to press against on here? Just, ah, oh, there we go. There we go, it snapped in. It finally snapped in. Just had to get it wedged in just right. Now it's now it's nice, nice and in there. Okay. So then this goes on top and has a couple of couple of screws that hold it in. Might as well do that right here. And these don't have to be tight; just have to be held into place. There. I'm glad I tried a little more to make that fit because it did actually go in and, and kind of snap into place. Where are we at? 12.29. We have 30 minutes until giveaway. The links are pinned and they're also in the description. Nice little touches on the LDO kits. Really like that they spent the extra time on the cool little things. Yep. Nathan. Um, new Taiwan dollar, right? $45, thank you. I think that is the reason LDO kits have been such a hit. Yeah, they there's value added stuff that they pay attention to, which is is handy. Okay. If we look at their documentation here, I think there's a clue on how the let's go down here. There we go. So this is a little Wago mount. And there is a PCB, kind of a, um, a breakout board. So, yep, going by that, we are going to snap the, the Wagos in here. Nice. 
me like that. Hey, Zombie Hedgehog, thank you. Confirm my Kurigami doesn't have the extra mounting holes. Oh, okay. And then this, because there isn't really room for two screws, they put a spot in the in the printed part for the PCB to kind of wedge in. And I think that's clever. I think that's a, a good way to do this. So this kind of pushes in here. And it's going to be very print settings dependent. But that pushes in there. Just push and then a, a fastener to hold that in place. There we go. <sighs> Both are viable kit providers for sure. The LDO is really, really nice. Yeah, this is obsidian black. It has a, a sparkle in it and it's a very dark black. Okay, now looking at that picture I had, it looks like it goes upside down over here. That appears to be to match that picture. So two more screws. Is there a hole for a screw for the lip that's wedged in? I don't know what do you mean the lip that's wedged in. Ah. Okay. There and one more. I couldn't get my ES15 in for these anyway. Ball driver, a must. And as it is, there we go. Galaxy ABS ASA Polymaker coming soon. Yep, I'm looking forward to that zombie. Definitely. It is Sparta Purple Mist. Sparta Sparkle Purple Mist is the is the purple. There we go. Can you just let me win this V0 kit already? Save you some time. <laughs> Peel the protector off my ES15. It's off. It's not on there. There's no protector on there. I peeled that a while back if it was on there. PCB only fits in one way. Okay. Now can we throw this? There's going to be some wiring. I think I'm going to do this. This will be later. How are you going to attach the linear rails if that Wago block now is in the way? Um, very carefully. I think I can get to them, but we shall see. So, this goes here, and this is going to go on here, right like that. And before, there, there are M2 by 4 screws here. So those go there. And what, what driver am I going to need for these? I do need the 1.5 here. There we go. And I think I can just reach these. And I and we'll need some thread locker here, but I'm doing test fitting now. We'll put thread locker on in a bit. We're going to see how well everything lines up and fits. go. And I'm starting these a little bit, starting these but with my fingers so I don't accidentally cross thread them. Since I'm coming in at an angle and it's not necessarily a ball driver. 
Okay. So now the I can always take this block off, the Wago block off, and put it on after. In fact, I think I'm just gonna do that. Cause it'll just make it easier. I think I have my colors picked out for my VS01, V0S1, going to do dark teal primary and pastel green hatchback as my ac accent. Awesome. Go back to my original V2 with the hatchbox. Nice. Okay, so taking the advice and I've just pulled that off. So I, I free up a little bit of space here working on this. And then this one is gonna be the trickiest one down in the corner here. So I'm gonna definitely start that one by finger and then find an angle. That's a good enough angle. What type of ABS do you recommend for printing boron parts? Any ABS, there's lots of options out there. That actually feels pretty good. Um, I'm gonna take my bumpers off of here and I'm gonna go all the way to the top and I'm gonna tighten one side just snug. Still finishing my bench and deciding which way to go with the build. Okay, so that side is tight. This feels really good as it is. I may not have to mess with anything. Let's see how it feels once this side is tight. That feels really good. I have no complaints there. I may not tweak. So what you would do, if you look at the manual, um, there is a process here. Once you get this on for, um, where is it? Tramming. So this, this tramming instructions here. Check any binding or snags moving the carriage up and down the rails. The bed carrier must be able to move freely along the entire length of the rail. If it does not, loosen the blind joints of the extrusions that holds the right rail. And you'll need to move the rail stopper on the right extrusion to access the screw. Um, move the bed carrier along the entire length and pro progressively tighten the blind joint. Should it start to bind, loosen the blind joint, right? But I'm feeling pretty good about how this feels here. I must have... Let's see if it can get better. So we're just going to tighten, loosen this. We're gonna remove this rail stop here and we're gonna loosen this. Where's that? Let's loosen that and loosen this and let's go. Just kind of move this, clear things up, make sure we're in the, we're flush here. Make sure we're flush and tighten that one just a little bit and move it down here. Work it, work it, tighten that. Yeah, that didn't get any better. Didn't get worse, but didn't get better. So I'm gonna call that right there. Charlie wants out, give me a second. Get rid of that. Mm. Okay. So we can put this back on. Yep. Charlie wants out. Screws, stops. So now I want to do um, thread locker on these tiny screws. And I'm going to use my 
stick thread locker. So I'm gonna do this one at a time. So I'm just gonna remove, that way nothing gets disturbed. Just remove this one and just barely tiny, tiny bit, tiny bit of blue thread lock right on the, on the end. This is a metal on metal connection. You will, it is a good idea to use thread locker on this. I think just going one fastener at a time, just make sure I don't knock anything out of, out of place. Just got my 2.4 kit from Sparta 3D delivered. Congratulations, awesome. How are we doing? We have almost 450 people here. That's awesome. How are we doing on time? 20 minutes till the drawing. Links are in the description and the pinned post. That in there. There we go. Move this up further into view. Is there a thread locker in the kit as well? Or should I get some advance? It's always a good, I, I like this, this Loctite stick blue thread locker. It's a good idea to have this on hand. If you're gonna be working on printers, working with this stuff, it is a good idea. These, these do not come with it. Um, the kit does not come with any kind of fluid. They tried to in the very early LDO kits, but they got, uh, I don't know if it was customs or other regulations that made that not a good idea. Oh, are we starting to get some rain? It's raining out there. Just using my fingers to get the thread started to minimize the chances of me cross-threading these tiny screws. Oh. At least in those tight spots. Charlie wants back in, so let me let him in. All right. Yeah. Okay. Jeffrey, I am in California. I'm in the Sacramento area. Cannot find that Wago mount under his GitHub. Who's GitHub? Um, if you go, um, BBs, if you go to the L docs.ldomotors.com, you can find the, the Wago mounts. Check out, the, yeah, there's a, there's a link for printed parts and it's in there. Okay. So the bed is trammed. It's installed. It feels good. It's a little tight, but it doesn't feel rough. Okay. So with all of this, and I'm just going to go through with a a non ball end driver and just kind of tighten and get that. 
Oh, that's a 1.3, huh? Is that? Yeah, that's a 1.5. No wonder it wouldn't tighten. Where's the two millimeter? Where did I put that? Oh, there it is. Why is it's a driver or no it's the angle nope. there we are just making sure that these are snug yep those are good pull these off real quick there we go this can go back on. We've received a little more than an inch of rain in the last two days. Wow. We need, yeah, several hundred more. Okay. So just making sure all these are snug before we move on to, we're gonna remove these outer extrusions that were just there for keeping things in place. So. Loosen that, and I'm gonna have to clean up a bit here because we'll need the flat surface again. Okay, so let's clean, let's clean up. Uh, let's put this back on. What side was that on? That was right here, right? Right like that. Yeah. Maybe mark the ends with a little line to check if it moves. What little line? What end? Oh, we have a we have extra of these little screws. So let me let me make sure I keep those. one yeah nice nice rain out there there we go and I'll end up doing all the wiring stuff once more of the frame is put together so let's put some of these things back in the kirigami box Put my drivers back in their spot. Oh, hopefully that wasn't too loud. Tweezers. Here, got me stuff back over here. Now we have this. West Coast is going to run out of water. Yes. I really like the lots of extra screws. Yeah. Oh, we got bots. Do we have anybody? Anybody in chat to take care of them? Let's see. There we go. They should be taken care of. Okay, so we took those two extrusions off. We need to preload six M3 nuts in the top. So let's move this to the bottom. One in the rear. Now this one in the rear, we're not gonna preload because the Pico Bilical is there and the piece that that one in the rear is gonna go to um, isn't used. I got 10 more minutes to the giveaway. Do you not have sub only chat on? Oh no. No, I don't I don't want to require people to be sub to chat. That's OK. OK, so we're not going to install the that rear one, but we do need to put the six in the top. So let's go and grab my. Thing. 
And let's just grab tweezers, makes this a little easier. No worries, lol. It's easy enough for me to get it too. Three over here. I'll throw three in from this side. It's time for your phone to work, get some mods. <laughs> OK, so those three. I'm a little disappointed I don't have those little printed pieces to to guide those, but that's OK. Don't really need them. OK, Oop, let's let's bring this back down to. A... So preloaded the six on top, none in the back. And then we need to preload six into the bottom. Got an ant. <laughs> yeah, the ants are the ants are coming in from the rain. So being careful not to lose the ones on the top. We need six in the bottom. Two, three, four, five, six. Six in the bottom. Only if you install the bottom panel. There, so Patrick, there was one more for the back, bottom back, or the top back, but we don't use the part that's gonna go there. So I didn't install it. And the, the Pico Bilical controller goes in that spot. So there may be other little tweaks here um, as far as what nuts go where, but I think we're okay with what we've got right now. And then we're going to install all of these. So, yeah. So let's make this out of the way. And then making sure we don't lose those pre-installed nuts, let's get this out of the way. And go here. So this is going to go like this. And then we need these. So the extrusions with the, the access hole, I think that's 30 millimeters in. Hey, Ricky B. And then this one, and then the two Y extrusions. So this is going to go here. And we're going to be somewhat where is that so that'll be somewhat about about right there that's gonna just hold it up for now the v0s one is just small enough that i could put it on my desk of course then there's the filament spools now i've seen mods for like putting the spool holder underneath the printer and stuff like that okay so those two there and i think i'm going to oh <laughs> oops one two three four five six i found them all <laughs> Let's do that again. <laughs> now, these little printed parts that you're supposed to be able to use to hold these in place would probably help with that because it, it, it should kind of add a little bit of friction um, to hold these nuts in place. But like I said, I, I, I thought I thought it would come with some um, <laughs> I thought it would come with some some square nuts and it, it did not. Hi Kyle. 
Okay, two, let's see. You really should get some sponsorships or affiliate links for the tools you use. I keep getting pointers for stuff to buy from your streams. Uh, I, I have a, even though it's not, probably not worth it, I do, I am part of the Amazon program. I need to set up the link for that just because, but other than that, I'm not too worried about it. Oh, is there an ant still on the extrusion? No, oh, whatever. <clears throat> whatever. So those all go there, and then it's an extrusion to the back, and then that's 37 millimeters. Okay. So let's do this by now, putting this in here. These are just, just loose. And did I put that in the right spot? I did. I grabbed the right one and put it in the right spot. So the LDO on the rail that you're never gonna see is, is correct. Now I can't lose those nuts this time. Ooh. <laughs> I keep saying that, but I, I'm, I'm very bad about following through with that stuff. Three by 12, <clears throat> it should be in three by tens, right? Yeah. The M3 by 10s. Here's the M3 by 10s. <clears throat> Any recommendation for good caliper brands? The ones I use are these eye gauging. Eye gauging. And I'm I'm pleased with them. I have no no problems with them. I'm gonna need those. Might as well leave them out. Hey, Stefan. Okay. Here we go. Um, there. Make, make somebody happy. <laughs> what is the best item you have printed this year? Ooh, you guys can, probably can't hear that, but we got thunder. That is really loud thunder. That's awesome. I love thunder. Uh, I missed a question. I was gonna answer a question when the thunder came up. What was that? What is the best item you have printed this year? The best. I don't know. You know what, probably the thing I've printed the most of though, hold on, thing I've printed the most of, hold on, I'll be right back. Thing I've printed the most of are these. These dino clips are so popular with like friends and coworkers, the bag clips. And this is a fabulous, it's pet G, but it is probably my favorite red. This is the Carmine Red from Prusament. And this is their um, green, the, the pet G green. But I've been printing a ton of these for um, just Christmas stocking stuffers and stuff. That's probably what I've printed the most of. <laughs> wanted to ask you what Nipex plier size you use there. I, I have the three, the three size kit is what I bought, 3DP. Thunder is great when it's on the other side of the window. Absolutely, I agree, but I, I love the sound of it. Oh, it's time for the drawing. Okay, let's take a break. Time for the drawing. I'm gonna give you um, until 102 to enter. It's in the pin, the link's in the pin in the description. You have until 102. I do not have battery backup on this. So if I'm, if I'm in the middle of the drawing and I, and I go out, oops. <laughs> okay, so it's, it says 100. 
on my time right now. When that dings to 102, I'm gonna close the forms. So, it is time. <sighs> Where do I get the clips from? So any of the uh, extra printed parts in here are in that LDO printed parts guide. There are links to them. That's all I printed. I didn't print anything that wasn't in there or in the main V0 repository. Oh, the dino bag clips. We have, it is 101. If we go to, uh, that's what you meant, dino, dino clips, printables. And if we just search for dino clip, it'll come up. Here it is, dino clip, chip clip, print in place. There we go. 3DP, S1 upgrade kit. So as far as the giveaway is concerned, it's a lot of the parts that are that are different on this from um, a V0 is what that is. is. So the giveaway is the Hiwin X-Rail, a Kirigami bed, the 100 watt bed build plate, and um, the Pico Bilical setup. Okay, back, let's just go here. And it is 102, so I'm closing it now. Not accepting responses. Not accepting responses. Time is up. So it has been a good while since I have done one of these, so bear with me. We are going to do the, um, the orbiter extruders first. There are going to be two of them, so I'm going to draw two names. And you must be present. You must be present and you must have included a valid email address. There we go. Oh, <laughs> I didn't wait for him to settle down before I set the camera there. I guess I'll turn that off for a minute. <laughs> so this is thanks to LDO. They, they said, hey, if you want to build this, we will do a giveaway with, for you. So, um, okay, give me, give me a minute. I am going to create a spreadsheet. Hey, Daniel, thank you. Happy Sunday. Have you ran the Kirigami before? I have, and I do like it. I don't, like it came up before. It's not absolutely necessary mod, but it is a nice mod. Yes. Okay. Come on. Since we're doing a giveaway, we'll get Charlie on camera. Okay. Display name. Let's, um, okay. Making sure I get everybody. So that's something to be aware of your you will um, show up on your your thing could show up on the on the screen. So let me copy this and here we go. So here and let me paste paste the names and that sh sometimes takes a little bit. There we go. Awesome. <laughs> okay, so this is a drawing for the Orbiter Extruder Kit. There's two of them. So let's do the let's do the narrow thing and get a number between one and ten. Let's get a number between one and ten to shuffle it. Oh, do we have five hundred here? Holy moly! Wow. This is really good because we have we have 500 people here and we have 500 and something entries. So <laughs> thanks, Cameron. We don't have nearly enough numbers. Nothing has has come to the top yet. Looks like five. Let's go ahead and shuffle this five times. One, two, three, 
four, five. And spin for the first winner. Who do we got? Spitzburn, Spitzburn, are you in the chat? Must be present to win. Let's see. I don't have I don't have hands free to try to tag you. But Spitzburn has to be here. Oh, Charlie Muffler on the mic, sorry. <laughs> Spitzburn, have we had a Spitzburn? Tag me. Tag me if you're here. What do we got? Spitzburn. So we're gonna set we're gonna set a two-minute timer. Where's my phone? Unless they're here. Can't tag? We're gonna set a two-minute timer. Only two minutes. <laughs> if anybody's seen him, or them, I'm sorry, them, we're gonna give it two minutes. So this is for the first. Cameron, $20, thank you. I have a timer going, it's a two minute timer. We got a minute and a half left. Not in list of participants, that's okay. They haven't, it, it, all they have to do is say something in chat. If they don't, then that's okay. We'll, we'll roll another one. We got one minute left. This will take a little bit of time, but it's worth it. It's worth it. Can you roll for the second extruder? Um, that's not a bad idea. That's not a bad idea. Hey, zombie, thank you. We're not seeing anyone. We got 30 seconds. Let me, let me copy, oops. Let me copy this as the, just for a record. And put this over here. Nobody? The draw is not open. The draw has been closed. So we are going to remove from the list. There, do we have someone? Hey, there you are. Good job. Oh, and that was the timer. That was the timer. There you go, right on the, the edge of being removed. So I copied your name. You'll get an email, assuming your email address is valid, you'll get an email from Jason with instructions. So let's remove from here and let's go one more time. Number between um, one and five. Number between one and five. Congratulations, Spitzburn. Under the wire. <laughs> so close. Now, I haven't seen a lot of threes. So, hey, Maker Source. We're not done with the stream. I do, I do giveaways at the three hour mark. So we are going to continue making progress. Um, but I do, I do the giveaways at the three hour mark, just so people aren't left hanging and, and, and stuff. I don't, I don't use that as a, uh, a method of keeping people around. So I think that's fair. So we are going to, I'm going to go three and Hanson crack. Thanks for the stream. Thank you very much. And we're going to shuffle three times and roll again. One, two, three and spin. So this is for the second Orbiter Extruder. <laughs> James Christie, congratulations, are you here? James Christie. Let 
me copy that. And paste that over here. James Christie, tag me. Tag me, because chat can go by quick. James Christie. Oh, let's start the timer. Two minutes. Oh, nobody needs to shush. We want the engagement. <laughs> we'll find it. Someone will see. Someone will see the response and let me know. There you are. Awesome. Congratulations, James. Congratulations. Okay, so that concludes the Orbiter giveaway. So there's two Orbiter extruders, and now the other was a, um, a V0 S1 upgrade set. So that includes a high wind linear rail for the X, the Pico Bilical controller setup, the polymide um, heater setup, and the Kirigami bed. So let me export those to a new sheet. <laughs> Congratulations to James and Lisa and Spitzburn. So this is exporting. Okay, those are all exported. Let me Okay, so let's see. That's there through to the end. Here, let's close this and delete the, delete this, okay. Starting over. Okay, let me grab the, oops. There we go, forgot about the timer. <laughs> hitting the shift key while Charlie's on my, on my shoulder. Okay, now, paste in the, paste in the entries. Yeah, on stream chat is definitely delayed, so. Okay, all the entries are in. Um, let's go with one and 15. Shuffle between 1 and 15. This is for the S0 upgrade part. Miscellaneous upgrade parts. <laughs> Let's go 12. Let's go 12. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and one more for 12. Are we ready? Spin. Charlie's so excited. Daima, congratulations, are you here? Let's start a timer. This is for the set of S1 upgrade parts. Daima, we got a timer started. We'll give probably about 10 seconds after the timer because of chat lag. 'em me if you're here. Someone else tag me if you see them. Not taggable. Doesn't mean they're not here. They might come in like like Spitz did. <laughs> Oh, 
We'll be doing this next stream. Same thing next stream. Same thing next stream. They got a minute. We're doing the same thing next stream. And Dima, are you here? Okay, we got 40 seconds. We'll give it about 50 for now. <laughs> Engagement. <laughs> Dima. Hope you're not getting lunch. We've almost 500 people in here. Eclipse, thank you. Congrats to, all the, congrats to all the winners. Okay, we got about 20 seconds. Timer's gonna go off and then I'm gonna give just a few more seconds because of the... Um... Oh, so then we're gonna give about another 10 seconds or so. So I'll give the time that it takes for me to copy this and I'm just keeping it for, for posterity. Okay. Okay. We're going to um, to roll again. So we'll remove them from the list. And let's reshuffle this between one and five. Between one and five. Shuffle between one and five. We'll do a quick shuffle. <laughs> a polar club member. <laughs> oh, there we are. There's all the, let's just go four. Let's go with four. One, two, three, four. And spin. My arm's getting tired. Engagement spikes are going to be huge here. <laughs> Bruno! Bruno, I've seen you before. I hope you're here. At least that looks familiar. Your name looks familiar. Are you here? Bruno, tag me. Let's start the timer. We've got plenty of time. Now, now I'm starting the timer. Tag me, Bruno. Or if someone sees them, 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 them. <laughs> there we are. Congratulations, Bruno. You are the winner of the S1 upgrade parts. Everybody gets another chance next weekend. Let me paste this over here. Okay, congratulations. Let's remove. Let's go ahead and clean this up so it'll be ready for next time. Yep, yep. Awesome. Congratulations. I am going to set Charlie down because he, my arm is hurting. There we go. Oh. <laughs> Congrats to all the winners. That was awesome. Okay, let's get back to the build. Let's get back to the build. Where are we? Oh, so the winners will receive an email from Jason um, with with info. And yeah, I don't need any of your info. I'm just going to pass your email on to Jason. So we are back to building. Congratulations. So I left off. I need to put a couple more um, bolts in here. Let's see where the where the viewer numbers plummet. <laughs> that is OK. I put the phone away. I did. <laughs> yeah, leave a like on your way out. Oh, 
And if you want notifications for next week's drawing, do all the things. <laughs> I have a V0 kit that I haven't built yet. Should I get the upgrade before I start the build? Um, no, I mean, these are all nice to haves. They all make for a good um, a, a, a good build, but the, the spec build is just fine. Okay, so those are there, and then I need extrusions, H extrusions on the back. So these guys go here. Now these can be tightened. So let's give us, uh, no, I'll leave it right here. So I'm just gonna, I use this, these um, squares. It's just a, a chunk of aluminum off of Amazon, uh, a square. And I just do this just to just to help constrain the the um, the extrusion in that direction. So, and then we we just tighten it down like that, and that ensures that this surface is um, want to push down. There we go. And then where do we go? You have Dennis. Thanks, Steve, LDO, and Charlie. Awesome stream. Thank you. And thanks for being a member for seven months. Got to go to bed. See you, Nathan. Thanks for being here. This is S1 still with Mini Afterburner. Yes, um, 3DP. I am building this as a V0.1 because that is what's available right now, and that's what... Um, that that is um it is i i suspect it'll be an easy upgrade to v0.2 um as easy as v0 gets anyway right i've accidentally ordered m3 by 4.6 by 4 hit heat sets instead of the specified are they still fine or do i i would order others unless you want to modify the files those are probably going to be a little loose Bartos. See a Hanson crack. That awesome moment when you put a 20 tooth pulley on the motor and it's somehow exactly at 8.5 millimeters. Nice. See you, Joe. Okay, so I'm going to basically tighten these. Just get the there we go. Now we're going to do some measurements for these other. How am I want to do this? Guess I'll do it like this. Slightly loosen these. Yeah, those I, I have a, those drawings are fun. That that is that is a good time. User base cleaned up. We're still at we're still at four hundred people. That's pretty good. Especially considering at this point it's getting really late in many parts of the world. So, hmm. let's see, there is a measurement that we want. So we're putting all these in and there is a measurement. 37 millimeters is our target for that back piece. So let's get this set up. 37 millimeters. Okay. 
Oh, that was quick. 37. Um, what is the best way for this? I'll go right like that. This actually feels... Making sure everything is square by feel where I think it should be. There we go. Getting some sprinkles in downtown LA. Actually, that one feels pretty good. This push there and right like that. That is perfect. And that's there. And then let's go. You're not going to get a great look at this, but I'm going to go off the end of this the bed here. All right, there. Those two. Right there. We got a bot. Thanks, Lol. Thanks, John. This is a great live stream. Glad I joined. I'm glad you're here. This is all about just, I mean, really, it's just hanging out and hoping to, to learn something both ways, because it's very often that I learn something from chat. Okay, I think those are all tight and good. Just make sure we got a good there. About time, still two hours for DeWitt stream. Awesome. Still working on the, the trident, right? There we go. Building is colorful, his crayon. What's what's the latest name on it? There we go. BT Cruiser. Too many chores around the house today. Yeah. Okay. So that is the frame to this point. We're going to need to put some 10 millimeter screws in the front here. So let's put those in. Hey, Mr. K. He just missed the giveaway drawing. I'm hoping to get the rock, the rook tune tonight. Awesome. How long did that take to print? How long did that take to print? And what did you use to print it? What material? Okay, so that's those. Go back to the instructions. There's a frame standard aluminum color. This is anodized space gray. So it is anodized. It's not just plain aluminum. It's what they call space gray. Well, you don't win 100% of the things you don't enter. Okay. Now we have a bunch of preloaded nuts. Preload some nuts. So what do we have here? Let's get orientation correct. And we're going to preload four on the bottom and three on the side here. So... Grab a bunch, a whole handful of nuts. How long does it take to tune a Dwayne the Rook? <laughs> okay, so four on the bottom. Come on. 
Why are you not going? Here, let me grab a let me grab a little grippier set of tweezers. There we go. There we go. One. Two. Three. And four on the bottom. Three in here, which would be the side. And then one on the inside, because I know that's going to be needed for the, the cable chain. One on the inside of this side. Okay. And then four. Oh, I'm, I'm orientated wrong. <laughs> I'm orientated wrong. None there. None there. None there. I meant to turn this this way. Now we have the four on the bottom. See, got to pay attention. Hey, Dury. See a hybrid robotics? And I missed, what, what did we say? I'm hoping to get the rooks tuned tonight. Three plates on an ender, about eight hours each, then about one to two more plates, miscellaneous stuff. Paul Maker, PLA Pro White, and Galaxy Black. Awesome. Any idea if TAP is coming to Tridex? Um, if, you, if you're on the Doom Discord, there's someone who's got a prototype. Um, there's there, It'll be a mod. Um, I have no idea any details on it though it's looking promising though i just don't know okay three on the side and then one on the inside for the cable chain there we go now we have four on the bottom over here two three And grab some more. Four. Is it better printing ABS with a 0.4 or a 0.6 nozzle? Both both are fine. Um, I almost exclusively print with a 0.4, although I have a, um, um, a 0.6 obsidian that is going to make me want to do more 0.6 printing, but I haven't done a, a, a profile, a good profile for it yet. Okay. Four here. Maybe maybe this is a better camera's locked up. Probably because I didn't have it. I didn't use it for so long. Let's start it back up. <sighs> Give that a second. There we go. Okay. I think this might be the better view. So I have four on the bottom here. Four on the bottom here. Three, which is what's on the side here, and then. We're going to turn this up. We want to make sure we don't turn this forward. We need three here. One. Oops, that one. Two. Three. Let's do that. And then three on this other side, top. Is it better? Uh, I for sure would screw up preloading the rails with the nuts. Everybody does, even me. Two. Even on my third build, I got something wrong. <laughs> I think that I didn't have this camera active for so long. I think it actually did just time out. Hey, man. Amp. Okay. And then, so that's the three on the side, four on the bottom, one on the inside, none here, three on the top, three on the top here. So now we can come to this side and turn it up and we go 
four on the bottom, which are here. I think that's all of them that we can insert right now. Three on the top. Yeah, so that's good. New hex tray, of course. The unplanned purple hex tray for the purple build. <laughs> What's going right for a slab of quartz for a build surface? I got this from a local place for about 30 bucks. Maybe it was $40. Actually, let's go back here. So preload four. Oh, and then we're gonna need to put the, the bottom panel in. So let's grab the bottom panel. Yeah, that made. should include a swear jar as part of the bomb just for every time you have to redo something. So a swear jar that contributes to the next build fund, right? I have one nut that didn't have threads for the B-motor mount. I've put a screw in just for the look. Place down the street tried to charge me $30 a square foot for offcut. Yeah, there's a lot of places and there's a couple of places here locally that just won't sell offcuts. They have them, they just won't sell them. I don't, they probably just don't want to deal with it. They don't want to deal with people like me going in there. Okay, these are free now. Oh, I missed. Top hat panels. So these are top hat. Set these down here. This is the one that we want right now. So set the rest of these away. Is this kit available now or is this a beta? It's apparently shipping this like early this month. So vendors will end up, distributors will end up with it um, January, I guess. Gotta get a good view here, right? Sometimes this stuff can be a real bear and an unsatisfying peel. Yeah. It, this paper, this paper stuff, protectant is, is not, does not make for a great peel. I work in a countertop shop. You may be able to score a quartz sink cut out for free for them. Stuff that small gets thrown away. Yeah. I've, I've, I've been meaning to go to the place I bought this from and see if they have a dark colored um, square just to, I, it might show, might show a little better. I'm not sure. Maybe a dark gray would be This is this is riveting, I know. Here we go. There we go. Oh. Can I save it? Oh, almost. There we go. Mm. Looks like Fabrico has a honey badger and LDO collab for the S1 on sale already. Awesome. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they also have a, a thing, if you look at uh, a little blurb on there about V0.2. 
peel up, not back. <clears throat> okay, let's try that. Let's try in the in a corner here. There's an ant in the frame. Fun. <laughs> Stupid ants. I have no food up here. I don't know what they're after. Let's go straight up. Oh, see, see, this is what happened. Even pulling straight up, it this is this is where the the problem is. Is it 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 gets it rips. See if I can, yeah, see. Let's see if I can get this to go. Uh huh? We are good. That is better. Oh, lost it there. Lost it there. <laughs> Almost. Almost. Two little spots. There we go. And that. Okay. There is... Do I have a... Aha. So this notch here is going is for the cable chain. It's going to go to the back, right? Like that. See you, Gabriel. Where are we at? 142. Um, where are we? How are we? I'm thinking we might get close to wrapping it up because there's a couple of things I'd like to do um that would be prepped for next week so we might close this at four hours so we got another 15 minutes here um let's put the front extrusions on here so i don't lose the nuts even though i may pull them out and put those um nut aids in there so but let's let's put this in put the rails on so it can be moved around without having nuts go flying. So let's look at this. So we preloaded the three. Nope, we didn't preload the three in the side. So I need to preload the three in this side. Just do that real quick. Two and three. That's those three. And then the three are on top, the four are on the bottom. All of those are preloaded. Shouldn't you put the chain mount in before the bottom panel? Um, I'll be able to get it in with a, a ball end screwdriver. That's not a bad idea, but I think I'll be okay. Let me make sure that the, the nut is there. The nut is not there. Why isn't the nut there? Did that one fall out? No, it is there. It's just tucked back in there. Put a screw in the end nut to stop it sliding. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. Okay, we have these extrusions to prepare. So we need four in the bottom. So let's zoom out a little bit here. I love that camera. That camera has been nice. Okay, so we're going to have an extrusion that goes here but it has four, four nuts on the bottom. Chat lagging, I checked it, oh, okay. How does the giveaway work? So Bruno, um, you will, are you, is that the Bruno that won? I apologize. 
No, not the Brunello one. So, the, oh, I need to, everything's closed. So next week we will do another giveaway where once the stream starts, I will open up the, a couple of links to enter. And at the three hour mark, I will draw names and you must be here to win. So, see ya, Martin. I just completed my first somewhat complicated 3D model in Solid Edge today and printed out one of the parts. Awesome. That is so satisfying, isn't it? To be able to actually see something that was in your brain just a little bit ago. Should unpin the giveaway thing in chat. You're right. Thank you, Patrick. Unpin. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so the four on the bottom here. Oops, I forgot the two. Yeah, the other Bruno. The other Bruno was asking how the giveaway works. Okay, so that goes there. And then these extrusions with the cross. So that one is the cross um, hole. This one only has one side. These go in like that. Glingus, it's been great to see this thing. So I'm trying to decide how badly I need a V0. Well, nobody absolutely needs it, but it's a cool thing to have. <laughs> Um, is there an STL for the hex tray, please? Yes. Um, so I have, I did actually do this. If you go to the description, um, there is a link to my printables profile now. So in, in the description for the video, there's a link to my printables profile. I'm learning slowly, very slowly, but it's there. Okay, so I'm going to move this towards the front so I can actually. There we go. And this side. There we go. And one more. And you can feel with your fingers when these are lined up. So that's kind of what I'm doing here is just feeling and then using the, the surface here as my reference point. No printable profile there? What? Did I not save that when I was editing it? Oh, hold on a second. Hold on a second. Where was I? I swear I put that in there. That's really weird. What did I edit? Okay, I'm going crazy apparently. I will put it in my pro in my profile. That's really weird. Cause I was editing that. Is it on another page? Huh. Yeah, I, I put a link to my Voron user mod directory, my GitHub, and my printables. It's probably some combination of doing this on two different computers. Okay. <sighs> what extruder am I going to use for this build? What it comes with, which is uh, going to be the guts for a mini afterburner. Mini afterburner. So where are we at? 323? Yeah. 
We're doing good. I will I will put the the link to all my things in the description and it's going to be part of the template so it should be on videos going forward. So You saw it earlier? Something I did must have cleared it then. Something I did must have cleared it. Okay. So this is where we're going to end the build for the day. Now that doesn't mean we're ending the stream this second, but we're get we're wrapping things up. Um, I like the parts tray, but I like it better if they fit together side by side when you print two of them. There is a remix. Check out, I think it was Squirrel Brain did a remix of it. Check out the remixes. There's some good, good stuff in there. Mine is just a remix of someone else's. Mini Afterburner, yes. So v Voron 0 0.2 is not released. So we're building this as a Voron 0 0.1. That just means that I get to do an upgrade on stream later, right? So there will be um, a bit of Voron con or zero content coming up next year. <laughs> Since I've been using that screwdriver for a while, how do I like it? I like it. I think I would prefer distinct forward and back buttons instead of the gyro. I, I, the gyro is gimmicky. I, I don't. I don't. I don't think it's great. But torque is great. It's quiet. Um, the battery lasts fine. It, it's usually dead because I forget to charge it after I've used it. <laughs> But other than that, I don't have any real complaints. I would just prefer it to have dedicated buttons for forward and back instead of the gyro. If I want to do a Tridex, does it use the stock frame? Not if you want to get um, any significant X travel out of it, Danny. You'd want to extend your X extrusions. Did I hear you earlier saying you have? Yes, I've built the the the, the prototype stuff for V0.2. I've built two of them. And both of them have been at, I mean, the red one was at Murph and the gold one was at Earth. So, and I'm printing with the gold one right now exactly as it was at Earth. That's the one that I have set up with 12,000 excels and eh, somewhere around 300 millimeters is where the print speeds are. That's the perimeters and stuff go down from there. And generally, this build size of a V0, you don't necessarily hit those speeds, but it it does good for me. It's 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 quick, um, and for my little prototype or small parts, it's 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 my go-to really. See you, Sanders. I would add it as round and breaks if it rolls off the table. <laughs> Um, yeah, there, there is the screen here, which kind of helps keep it from, from totally roll, rolling off. My, my surface here is fairly, um, fairly level. See, this screwdriver usually rolls everywhere and I've, I've made this surface pretty level. So your ES driver died within a week of the return window closing, which ES? This is an ES-15, which is the Miniware Genuine. The ES-126 I hear is a knockoff. But I'm not I, I think that's what how that works. Press the reset button three times quick and it locks to screw or unscrew. Right, but you, it, it's one or the other. You have to do that again to change it to the other direction, right? Hey, Kit. The build is good. I mean, we've, we've got a... We've got a mostly most of the frame done. Did the the Kirigami bed? I am I am pleased. So in between streams, I'm gonna print all the little little pieces. If you go to if you go to the the printed parts guide and come down here, there are. Um, slide in nuts. Our kit contains about 100 slide in video nuts. There's some printed supports for that. And this no drop nut mod. I just happened to print the, the square nut version. So there's a, the LDO no nut drop mod and there's a square and hex nut version. So I need to go back and print a bunch of the hex nut, the hex nut version. Oops. <coughs> So 
So. Space gray, yep. All my parts for the stealth burners here finally, and now I just need my 2.4 kit and the build is on, awesome. See ya, John. This was awesome, I'll be back next week for sure. Awesome, yeah. So next week, we'll continue this build. I, I'm expecting, now it might go to four streams, um, but I'm expecting three streams for this build. So every stream up to the last one, will have the same giveaway we did today. Even if we go to four streams, there will be three of these giveaways today. Um, but I, I, I'm hoping we stick to three because I want to get back to Tridex. So the, the other build I have going is the Tridex build. And this is a opportune time for me to do this V0 build for me because there are still bits and pieces of the Tridex build I need to wrap my head around how I want to do. And giving me this extra time on a build that I'm very familiar with um, in the in the Voron Zero um, is a good thing. So in case anybody was wondering, the Tridex is still on the table. Um, this is just an opportune diversion. So. <sighs> we will probably not stream on Christmas weekend. In fact, I know we're not going to be streaming Christmas weekend, that Sunday. So that'll be a an extra week there. And we'll see where we're at on this build. The, theoretically, I may finish this build and then there's Christmas weekend and then I'll probably stream New Year's weekend um, with the Tridex again. You mentioned the Dino Clips. Do you have any other stocking stuff or suggestions? People love simple phone holders. If you can find a little simple, super quick to print, simple phone stand, people love those. So. Grammy, thanks for the stream. Give the cat a lot of treats. See you next week. Yes. Oh, oh yeah, he's up on screen. Okay. <laughs> How about fixing Jason's printer? That's on that's on the on the list of projects I need to do, Ken. I, I just need to get get on it. Stream four on January 8th if we need it. Well, stream four for this would be New Year's. Um if we need it, but we'll see. I'm hoping to do this in three streams. That would line up well with the way I want projects to go over the next couple of months. <laughs> Trident designer knows a lot about the printer. Could ask him. I could. Then I'd be talking to myself. What brand is my ES15? It's Miniware. Clock Spring has some nice phone holders. Yep. So. I think with that, we're going to call it. We're right at the four hour mark right now, which is perfect. Um, this was a blast. Um, I, I like doing this, this type of stream. Um, huge thanks to LDO for, for providing the kit and providing the giveaways. So um, thank you for the tons of gifted members today. That was awesome. Um, uh, and thank you for any donations, all that stuff. Thank you for just being here. Um, I had a lot of fun and I'm looking forward to next weekend. So we'll see you on Sunday. Um, have a good rest of your weekend and have a good week. Take care. Bye.